In this video, I'm going to talk about the basics of the things that you need in order to understand um, neural networks. I will cover things that I've actually covered in previous videos before. Um, so I'll put um, links in the bottom. We'll talk about matrix and vector calculus, and we'll talk about gradient descent. We'll talk about um, binary logistic regression, softmax regression, and also uh, logistic regression with basis functions. So the first thing we briefly need to recap is vector and matrix derivatives. And this is important because as with most of our machine learning models, for neural networks, you're going to find some um, loss function j. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try and minimize that loss function with respect to all the parameters in the model. Now, there will be a lot of parameters in neural networks, and so what you want to do is you want to get the partial derivatives, for instance, of uh, this is a matrix and the first element in the matrix. Okay, And if you can get that, then you can use something like gradient descent in order to optimize this specific parameter with respect to the loss. Okay, But instead of doing this, instead of um, getting expressions for the partial derivative separately for each of our weights, what we want is we want a method where we can just get an expression for maybe a whole matrix with respect to that loss, all those partial derivatives stacked into one together. And if we can do this, then it makes the math easier to write down. But more importantly, it also allows us to use fast matrix and vector operations on, uh, for instance, GPUs in order to calculate and update our parameters um, very efficiently. So to do this, we need to actually know what it means to take the partial derivative of some loss function with respect to a matrix, or more generally what it means to take partial derivatives of vectors with respect to one another, um, or even with vectors with respect to matrices. And that's what we're going to briefly um, recap here. Now there's a previous video, you can click on the link below, which goes into a little bit more details and a little bit slower than what I'm going to do here. So the first thing is um, to define um, what it means if we have a scalar function f and we take the partial derivatives with respect to some vector. This is actually an example of this because the loss function is normally a scalar. And in that case, we would define um, the, um, the derivative of that scalar with respect to x. We define it as basically just a vector, um, a column vector with all the little partial derivatives stacked. And I should say here, when I do this, um, this is a specific formulation of matrix and vector derivatives called the denominator, denominator layout. Okay, and um, I always follow this, this layout. So if you look things up on Wikipedia, then look for denominator layout and use that. Okay, um, we can go even further and say what happens if we have a vector function. So this is a function f that takes one vector and outputs another vector. So it takes a vector of dimension n and it outputs it f. Um, vector of dimension m and um, what does that then mean um, to take the for instance the partial derivatives of this vector with respect to x and again what it boils down to is basically stacking up all the different partial derivatives of the first element of f with respect to x1, the second element of f with respect to x1, the first element of f with respect to x2 and so on. So you just stack all of them up this is actually the transpose of the Jacobian matrix. So maybe you've um, heard of this. Okay, and then the last one we will look at is when you have a scalar function. So this is again a function that takes in a matrix and outputs one scalar number. And in this case, you could probably guess that this just means that we're stacking up all the different um, partial derivatives with respect to the first element of the matrix. Um, the first row, second column of the matrix with respect to F and so on, all just stacked into one big matrix. The last and imp most important thing probably to look at um, with respect to vector and matrix derivatives is how the chain rule plays out in this case. 